There's an amazing place in Ethiopia, East Africa, called Hadar. This place is a treasure trove. We found tons of old animal fossils there. And among those remnants, we discovered something very special – the fossils of a creature called Australopithecus afarensis. One of these guys was found almost complete. You might know it today by the name Lucy, after a famous song by the Beatles. Lucy was a small lady, only about as tall as a kitchen counter. She lived 3.2 million years ago and became a huge celebrity when we found her in 1974. She helped us learn more about our early ancestors, creatures called Australopithecines. Around 10 to 12 million years ago, there was a group of animals that broke into two branches. One of the branches led to modern apes, while the other led to humans. This separation happened because one group decided to stay in trees and became what we now call gorillas, chimpanzees, and orangutans. They moved around using all four limbs and lived in forests. But the other group decided to live on the ground and try walking on two legs. Because of that, their brains started getting bigger over time. And over millions of years, they became bald monkeys who watch videos on YouTube. Yeah, you know who you are. Lucy, like other Australopiths, was a bit different from us. She still looked like an ape and lived during a transitional stage. She could walk on two legs, but didn't do it all the time. Sometimes she climbed trees, just like a monkey. She and her buddies were the first step in human evolution. Then came a new branch of evolution, Homo habilis, or handyman. They were the first members of the Homo genus because they were the ones to start developing stone tools and first show human creativity. They probably used these tools for scavenging and processing food. We found the first clues about them back in the 1960s. They walked around East Africa about 3 million years ago. They were pretty small, about 4 feet 7 inches tall. They didn't climb trees anymore and mostly walked on the ground. Their skull shape already resembled ours, unlike the more pear-shaped heads of Australopiths. That's because they had larger brains. After them, we had Homo erectus, the upright man. They lived about 2 million to 70,000 years ago. The name hints that this was the first hominin species that walked on two legs almost all the time. They were also the first to migrate out of Africa, spreading to Asia and Europe. And here, we had the real breakthrough. Representatives of Homo erectus had even larger brains and learned to make more creative and advanced tools. They created the first choppers, cleavers, and hammers and used flakes as scrapers and knives. They probably used a lot of things – wood, bark, and even grass to make the first strings and ropes. With all that, they learned how to hunt large animals and probably hunted together a lot. They were also the first ones to start using fire, which changed our history forever. Over time, more homo species emerged, including the famous Neanderthals. They're known for their European roots. They split from our common ancestor around 400,000 years ago. Now, even though we share one common ancestor, we didn't evolve from Neanderthals. They were a separate branch. All Neanderthals went extinct. But our evolutionary branch coexisted with them a long time ago. Neanderthals were resourceful, hunting both land and sea creatures. They left behind thousands of stone tools and even decorated caves with paintings. They had their own ceremonies, too. They started to bury those who passed away. They probably noticed that leaving them in the wild leads to spreading diseases and attracting scavengers. But they also showed care and love in their burial rituals. Then, it was time for archaic Homo sapiens. They lived around 500,000 to 200,000 years ago, emerging in Africa and Europe. This was the last leg between our ancestors and our modern species, Homo sapiens. The brain just kept getting bigger. They started to show more complex behaviors – not only burial and interesting stone tools, but also smart hunting strategies hmm. and planning for the future. They probably had a diverse diet that included both hunting and gathering. And finally, we reached the anatomically modern Homo sapiens. They emerged around 200,000 years ago in Africa. They had a similar skeletal structure and brain size to modern humans, and their behavior was pretty close to ours. They had complex social structures, started thinking in symbols, and so on. They migrated out of Africa around 60,000 years ago. 
spreading across the globe and eventually replacing other homonym species, such as Neanderthals. They started to create their first languages and form their first words. The first words were probably very simple, like ah to call someone and ma for babies. After evolving into our final stage, we started advancing in our cultural and technological development. This development became very rapid over the last 200,000 years. About 12,000 years ago, the Neolithic period, also known as the New Stone Age, began. It marked the end of the glacial period. Humans started living in settled villages instead of constantly moving around. This change was brought about by the advent of agriculture, which allowed people to grow crops and raise animals like goats and sheep. Early humans started to domesticate animals, such as sheepdogs, for herding. We also started making the first art, leaving famous drawings in caves, handprints, animals, mostly cows, hunting, and many others. We even created the first currency. We began using clay tokens for transactions. This marked the beginning of commerce and the use of money. And finally, we started writing. And now the events could be recorded and passed down through written records. This is when history officially began. From that point on, we saw the development of agriculture, the rise of complex societies, the invention of writing and the wheel, and the emergence of civilizations. Our tools became more and more sophisticated, languages appeared, leading to the diverse cultures and societies seen today. So why have we stopped evolving? The truth is, we haven't. Human evolution is an ongoing process, although it's not as dramatic as it used to be. We adapt to different environments, have different skin tones, appearances, body sizes, and genetic mutations that have influenced traits like lactose intolerance or resistance to certain diseases. But the world we live in today is very different from the one our ancestors inhabited. We don't suffer as much because we've developed technology, culture, and social systems. Thanks to this, evolution slowed down, seeing that we're doing okay as we are now. What we started experiencing is cultural evolution rather than a physical one. Plus, 200,000 years is a pretty short time period, considering the time span of the universe or even of our Earth. We should see what happens to us in hundreds of thousands of years. I won't be around then, but there are some theories about that. There's a big idea that, in the future, humans and machines might merge into one super being. We call it technological singularity, a state where we humans lead our technologies to the point where we won't be able to control their development anymore. For example, if AI gets so advanced, it will change everything about how we live. Despite the current rise of AI, we shouldn't be too worried about it taking over the world, at least not in the next few decades. All we've developed now is weak artificial intelligence, little simulations. They might look scary to those who don't know much about AI, but the truth is, they have yet far to go before they reach the grand complexity of the human brain, not to mention consciousness. However, many people believe it's only a matter of time before AI reaches this level of intelligence, and then our world might change forever. There are other possibilities, too. For example, one day we might reach a level where we merge with machines and learn to upload our consciousness in the cloud. In that case, we might become a hive mind, taking over the internet using our brains, becoming one giant consciousness. No matter what happens in the future, one thing's certain. Technology is changing fast, and it's going to affect all of us sooner or later. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.